Well, welcome back to The Pathway. We continued in Hebrews chapter 11 today with our second section, looking at what does it look like to really keep believing even when you've had a bad past or you don't understand what God's doing. Just keep believing because there is a reward and it's going to be worth it. Now, one of the aspects of The Pathway I'd like to highlight is in a section on Dig Deeper today. It's a question I think is really worth considering. It says, question number two, verse 13 almost sounds like God didn't keep his promises in time. How does a far-sighted faith help us trust his promises when we face disappointment? Let me remind you what verse 13 says. These all died in faith, having not, not received the promises, but having seen them far off, they were assured and embraced them. It sounds like, well, they died and didn't get it. That's not a lot of hope for me. But he says there's some aspects of the promise they saw on this side of eternity, but there was the greater dimension of that promise they saw on the other side of eternity. I think that's what far-sighted faith is. It's easy to see God didn't fulfill what I wanted this minute, this moment, this month. Not remember that God's timing, well, a day is like a thousand years to the Lord, and a thousand years like a day. God is working things together on a much different timetable than yours or mine. So when you can't see God working, remember, his promises are just beneath the surface, and they are trustworthy. And keep focused on those far-sighted promises, even when you don't feel them or see him working. We're going to continue that idea next week as we look at uh, Moses and a few other characters from the Old Testament. In fact, in the pathway, there's a read ahead section. And I want to encourage you to do that. It lays out specific passages to read over the next seven days to really understand the different characters he's going to mention. Genesis 22, Abraham testing uh, Isaac, for example, all the way through Exodus 14, Moses crossing the Red Sea. So if you download the pathway, short little reading, page or two for each day to really understand the context the writer of Hebrews is going to draw us into. Meanwhile, I hope you just keep believing and remember when you're discouraged and when you're down, there is a reward and it's going to be worth it.